All right. Well, what do you got? We got some more questions here on the show, Jim. This next one was sent to corny drive through at gmail.com from Matt in Morristown. Jim Ross recently called Tony Khan AEW stalwart of creative and mentioned Khan gets more experience. Excuse me, mentioned as Khan gets more experience, the shows will get better. Being the head of creative and on-the-job training shouldn't go hand-in-hand for a major promotion. What say you, Jim? Well, I say same thing. Um, uh, Yeah, but that's like, well, yeah, he's never done it before, so it can't get any worse. That's basically what that statement is. As the sh- as he gets more experience, the show will get better. Is a nice way of saying it can't get any worse. I would think, as someone does something more and more often, one tends to get better at it. But that's not even guaranteed. So I'm I'm not. <sighs> yeah, I, I mean I don't want to belabor this guy any more than I've already belabored him. But this is just, it's the same thing when they hire these fucking nitwits that have writing credits for television to be on the WWE creative team or the independent promotions where the guy's a big fan. So naturally he thinks he's going to be the booker when he starts his own promotion. And then, you know, after that, maybe he'll become a double knot spy and an astronaut. You can't do this shit. Even at a even at a, a small time at a local level, you're not going to be any good the first time you do something. So, everybody's saying, "Well, you know, they the, the they've watched wrestling or followed wrestling for so long that they they know better than the people that are writing it." Well, unfortunately, in this day and age, yeah, that that statement can be true, but that doesn't mean that they're still any good at it either. The people who did this for a living and were successful for years and years and decades and decades started out in minor roles in professional wrestling and progressed. Most guys that became bookers had been talents, not all of them. But most guys had been. You become a wrestler. Then you get a good mind for your finishes. Then you get a good mind for other people's finishes. Then you get the chance to be an assistant somewhere. Then you work your way. Then a small territory might take a chance on making you booker. Or you work with other fucking veterans as you go up, etc. Whether you've been a manager, that's the same thing. Referee, some referees have been bookers, but same thing. They started out hauling the fucking ring. And then they had a little input and then they worked with some veterans and over years they got the hang of it. And then finally they got their spot as, as, as a booker. And then if they had no success at it, they probably never got another chance. And the ones that did have success went on to do it in other different places. I don't care how much I've watched family guy on television. I'm not going to write an episode and submit it to them thinking that it is good enough to be on the Fox network. And just because people watch fucking cop shows, all the cops just got canceled, there's that, but that doesn't mean they know how to fucking turn the siren on if they're sitting in the squad car. It doesn't mean that it's impossible for anybody to learn, but you can't just assume because you have watched something done and had an opinion on it for years and years that you can actually do it when you're put in that position. And then when you find out everything that you don't know, Because whenever you enter a venture, there's a lot of things that you don't know. And guess what? You don't know what you don't know until you find out. Oh, that makes it harder. Oh, that makes it tougher. So this, you we're we're in a situation now in the business where the head of creative of the WWE, the biggest company in the world, has been in the business for 35 fucking years, but he's never been responsible for anything on his own, and he's generally known for agreeing with Vince a lot. And not to say that that Bruce doesn't come up with any ideas of his own, for fuck's sake, of course not, but it's all in the style of the shit that the WWF used to do fucking 20 years ago, because that's what he thinks is good. But even then, he's never booked anything on his own. 
And at the same time, so you've got 35 years of experience at one thing, which is and maybe way too much at this point. And the other fucking program has a guy who's been doing it for six months. I don't know who to feel sorrier for.